HyundaiReplacementParts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the slider springs on a Ryobi trimmer. The slider springs install inside of the trimmer head. Their purpose is to apply tension to the slider, which allows line to feed in and out of the trimmer head. Over time, the springs can become worn and lose their tension. If this happens, it's not uncommon for the trimmer head to feed excessive line when it's bumped. Replacing the slider springs is easy to do, and I'm going to show you how. Slider springs, as well as many other parts, can be found on our website. Let's get started. I'll begin by removing the bump head knob and the spool. I'll use a small pick to pull the C-clip away from the shaft. Now I'll remove the plunger and the plunger spring. Now I'll remove the E-clip, the slider, and the two slider springs. I'll use a pair of split ring pliers to do that. Now install the two slider springs back into the outer housing. Now the slider and this gets secured with the E-clip. Now install the plunger spring and the plunger. You'll notice that there's some angled faces on the plunger. There are also angled faces on the slider and I want to align those two together. Once in place, I'll press the plunger in and secure it with the C-clip. Now I'll install the spool. The spool comes pre-packaged with trimmer line already on it, and often the two lines are twisted together. This is just for shipping. So what I want to do is pull the lines away from each other so I have them extending out both sides of the trimmer head. You'll notice there's these clips on either side of the head, and those are to temporarily hold the line while we insert the spool into the trimmer head. So I'll line up each of the trimmer lines with the eyelets on the trimmer head. And then slide the head over the shaft. Once in place, I'll give a tug on the lines, and that's to pull them away from those temporary clips. And now I'll secure the spool with the bump head knob. Because of the spring on the knob, you'll need to press in as you secure it. And that's all it takes to replace the slider springs on your Ryobi trimmer. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. <laughs>